What's up everybody, Drake Drag Cell Rants here again, and I'm just uploading a new video. It's an actual video people subscribe for. Wow, that's pretty rare nowadays. The truth is, I did upload a video before analyzing the music video, I Love It, back when it was still relevant. But, the second I uploaded it, it got taken down by, you know, a bot. And I'm working on getting the video up, but at least it's gonna take until October 17th for it to be back up. So, if you'd like to watch the video, there's a Google Drive link in the description. Once again, I know this audio sounds absolutely fantastic, just astonishing, but I haven't gotten a new mic yet, and with this happening, it might take a little longer. Alright, enough crying, you read the title, you know what this video is about. Probably not, actually, it's probably something like Man in Prison Reviews Cartoons, and there's a little tick mark next to it. So today we'll be talking about the Crimson Mayhem, a rather contentious member of the cartoon community. A lot of people like him, a lot of people, they don't have favorable opinions of him. I personally have a great deal of respect for Crimson. I might have taken a few jabs at his Twitter before in my Robo All Cancer video, which if you haven't seen, I recommend checking out, but I never actually meant to be malicious. Where he talks about a tweet the Crimson Mayhem tweeted out, saying that The Loud House is one of the most influential cartoons of all time, by showing a clip of Luan Loud um, asking out a girl. Holy shit, guys, that is... Oh, wow. That, that definitely means that the cartoon is the most influential, important cartoons of all time. This video is in no way intended to discredit or devalue Crimson's credibility. This video is going to basically be in two acts, so you know, we're really revolutionizing our content here today. Act 1 is where I analyze his YouTube channel, and Act 2 is where I analyze his Twitter account and see how he conducts himself in general. I know that might sound rather foreboding, but try to understand I really have no ill feelings toward Crimson. Act 1, the Crimson Mayhem YouTube channel. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you'd know I like to analyze the channel first on a technical level. There isn't much of a catalog of videos to analyze, but I can 100% understand. Crimson doesn't really focus a whole lot on this channel anymore and primarily focuses on editing for other creators, mostly the mysterious Mr. Enter. There's nothing wrong with that in the slightest, so I'm not going to count a point off for it for the infrequent uploads. What I will talk about is Crimson's editing style. Crimson's editing style is, it's serviceable, it's fine, it's a little flat, but it's coherent. The video matches with the audio in an appropriate way. It's not bad per se, but I do have a question. Since, since he does mostly editing for the mysterious Mr. Enter, can I just ask something? Why did Enter hire Crimson in the first place? I know that might sound severely disrespectful, trust me, I don't mean it in that way at all. I'm just simply asking why out of the billions of options Enter had, he chose Crimson as his editor. Crimson isn't a bad editor by any means, don't get me wrong, but there are much better editors out there. So why Crimson in particular? I'm not trying to get Crimson fired, I'm not part of the Get Enter to fire Crimson so he can make more videos, but we also dislike the videos! Rant wagon. What I'm saying is, just why him? I've narrowed it down to four logical options on why he chose Crimson. A. Crimson's editing price is inexpensive. This would be a pretty logical solution. You know, it's inexpensive. It's editing. Yeah, let's just do it. B. Mr. Enter likes Crimson's content and thinks Crimson being his editor would be a good way to promote him. C. Mr. Enter genuinely, non-ironically believes that Crimson is the best at editing and he's the best option. Or D. The Crimson Mayhem is secretly Mr. Enter in disguise and he made the alter ego so he can use Crimson as a scapegoat in his videos in case he fucks up on the editing or something. I'm not gonna outright guess what Enter might have been thinking, that would be presumptuous and rude, but come on guys. It's obviously D. The footage he narrates over, thankfully, is actually in good quality. I don't know if he buys the DVD sets or if he gets the footage through other means, but it looks good. It isn't blurry and it usually doesn't have watermarks like Nickelodeon in the corner. I know this might sound like a small thing, but do you know how sick I am of seeing critics talk about a show or cartoon and the footage looks like it's on a GBA video cartridge? It's super annoying. And that's about it for technical issues. There aren't really that many to be honest, but now we're going to get a bit more subjective. In a series he used to have called Let's Look, he did some visual gags and sketches sometimes. The problem is that, personally, I can barely tell what is even happening, because it's just so often where the joke will be so poorly executed or filmed, I literally wouldn't know what he's trying to do. 
Crimson, why are you writing? What does that have to do with it? Is it because it's in a school? I have absolutely no idea what you were trying to convey here. Crimson, Crimson. Oh, and he was writing that the whole time? Oh, well, let me just turn up the brightness to around 900% and open up Photoshop so I can zoom in and see what he wrote. Oh, that's funny. Except I don't get it. What's the joke? Crimson's analyses are kind of obvious, but it's not exactly regurgitating everything you hear. He clearly does have his own opinion, kinda, and he demonstrates that sometimes, but, but it's still a little obvious. His jokes are... So, what do I get to talk about? Oh. Oh, no. Well, it was soon inedible. They've been done before. I'm not accusing him of ripping them off in any capacity. They're pretty general, and it's probably genuinely a coincidence that many people have made the same jokes. And that's about all I have to say about his YouTube channel. If I were to rate the Crimson Mayhem's channel out of 10, I would have to go with either a 5 or a 6. Definitely not a 7. It's probably closer to a 6, but yeah. And Act 1 comes to a close. Act 2. The Crimson Mayhem Twitter account. Obvious criticisms out of the way first. Crimson tends to go on and on and on and on and on and on sometimes up to a week, about the same topic over and over and over again. I'm not the first one to notice this, but I'm still including it, because, goddamn, it's just such a huge problem. It really does get obnoxious to seeing the same tweet in my timeline over and over again. This is definitely the biggest problem with his Twitter account. He can get pretty obsessive over something, and it's just quite annoying. On the plus side, Crimson does a good job at replying to people. He usually does it in a very timely and prompt manner, which is pretty admirable. He's easy to contact, so nice. Little nitpick. Why Ness from Earthbound? What does Ness have to do with anything? You, you're not a video game channel. You, 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 you don't talk about video games on your YouTube channel. You're a cartoon reviewer. What, is, what does Ness have to do with anything? Crimson does a pretty good job of making sure his Twitter isn't just a retweet machine. He posts his own material regularly and makes his opinion known. Sometimes a bit too adamantly, though. And that's all I really have to say about Crimson's Twitter. It sounds pretty okay, right? I haven't mentioned that many criticisms. Well, things like the excessive tweeting sprees really do get on my nerves. Like, really get on my nerves. But if you can get past that, I think it's a pretty good Twitter objectively, but subjectively and objectively, I'd rank it maybe a 4 or 5 out of 10. Probably not a 6, but that number isn't objective and can really vary between individuals. And that is my Crimson Mayhem video. Thank you so much for watching this. Oh wow, I'm really impressed with myself. I actually made a video that people would subscribe for. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.